Good afternoon. All right, some experiments. I've got some Arctic blue I was playing with. Oh, look at this. Okay, this is Arctic blue. It looks like agate with um, uh, ancient jasper over top. Just two coats of each. That's pretty stunning, and it's on brown clay, speckled. Gorgeous. Looks like stone. I love it. And this one is uh, deep fire brick, one coat. Um, Arctic blue, one coat, and seaweed, one coat. Look at that purple. So I'd like to find a way to bring that purple back in a bit more. And this is the same white speck clay. This is um, the new Mako Micro Cur Curlian. Um, I'm probably not saying it right. It's got um, the uh, little specks in there, little crystals, nice, okay. And this is just a base, I have a plant pot, I need another base, that's just uh, ancient, it's uh, iron luster and oatmeal. Okay, a couple of birch and uh, cordobon, birch and cordobon. Now this is to cone, oh it's cone seven. Really nice and drippy. That birch turns out a little darker with a cone seven. White speck clay. And a little bit of flux just around the edges to bring that birch in. At the cordovan. And another one, only this is the same glazes, only it's on dark clay. I probably put a little bit heavier coat of cordovan. Nice. Uh, that is lavender mist times three and then one sandstone on top. Love it. Nice and shiny. Excellent. Um, that one, I think it's honey flux and uh, iron luster. Yeah. And, okay, there's mushrooms. Mushroom projects, I still have lots on the go. I've got other people's mushrooms I need to glaze uh, and fire. This is Purple Aster and Smoky Merlot. Okay, there's another Hosta and that's um, Deep Fire Brick and Texture Amber Brown. Nice. Another Birch with a bit of Cordovan around the edges. Pretty on the bottom too. A little bit of Light Flux. And um, that one uh, was with my rolling pin. It just didn't come out very well with a rolling pin. And that's just the two Celadons, Storm and White Back, and then Ice in the middle. Okay, this one's a couple of um, Hosses with lots of Micro Pearl. For the most part, it's I did two Micro Pearl, and then uh, one Sand and Sea, and then Micro Pearl on the top. I wanted to see that come through, and it did. Woo, pretty. And this one too. I love that. And it's on speckle clay, so you can see that's why the little spots come through. That's pretty. And, um, oh, Black Adventurine. Cool. Just a coaster. Nice. On dark clay. Very cool. Oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> and, um, that's Ancient Jasper and Textured Turquoise, Cone 7. That's so pretty. I love the way that comes out. The golds and rich purples and blues. That's so pretty. On dark, I like it even better. It just shows through a bit. And a uh, little tiny pot. Well, it looks like Honey Flux and Iron Luster, but I'll look that up. Okay, looking at these combinations, trying to get them straight. I had a little bit of bluestone left. Oh, so pretty. So I put blue stone at the bottom half and the top half with overlapping just a little bit is ancient copper, the old one. And then in here is oatmeal, thick band of oatmeal right where they lap over. And that's why it looks like that blue in there. That is so pretty. Love it. And again, with leftover blue stone, this slipped a bit. That's okay. It'll come off with needle with the pliers. That is another blue stone and textured turquoise. Um, we'll, I'll pull that off after. Nope, it's going to come off. 
um, and sandstone. Very nice. This one here, I did a coat of sea salt and then I dipped it in Norris blue and then put a coat of Aurora green on it. Nice little bits of shiny and matte finishes. Very pretty. You can see the Norris blue coming through and the Aurora green. Very nice. And, um, oh boy. That one looks like a bit of sandstone. Hmm. I can't find it quick enough, but it does look like lavender mist and some sandstone there. If you're interested, I'll, I'll look that one up for more detail. I just can't find it quick enough. Oh my. Look at that drippiness. Whoa, that's so pretty. That really dripped. Now, what was it is the question. <laughs> oh, I might have been still playing with that blue stone, but I put something over it to make it shiny. It's in my notes, but I don't have it. If you, if you love it, which it is kind of cool. That's the last of my blue stone, so I probably won't replace it. But that really turned out. I must have put a, I must have put dark flux or something on it. That's gorgeous. Wow. I'll just grind that off. Beautiful. Oh, my filigree! Yay! Hey, it didn't stick. I hope, I hope. Peel off. That'll come off easy. Yay! Ooh. That's okay. It comes off easy. Okay. This. I want it more blue this time. Nice. Cool. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh my goodness. This is so much work because you have to clean the holes three times each. Um, the filigree process I put on Okay, I did honey flux all over and then I put a one light light coat of Merlot. I used micro pearl one coat and um, blue rutile on top. Pretty awesome. Okay, <laughs> thank you.